Welcome back everyone. Customizing our iPhones is like the number one thing right now, but the one thing people weren't super excited about was using Siri shortcuts. It seemed like a pretty weird method for a lot of people, but this is kind of a newer way to do it, but it's also an older way. But the weird thing is, is that it still kind of has the same caveat as Siri shortcuts has, but I think it's a little bit more snap here. So as you can see here, are some custom icons right here. Here are some other ones that I have. Now you can't use your own as far as I know, but you can use custom ones that are built in. So it takes way less time to do it. You don't have to do it for each individual app. So I'll go ahead and show you what it is. So first of all, you want to make your way over to Safari. Now you have to do this on your iPhone and I'll leave the first link down in the description, which will take you to this specific website. You want to make sure you're here. Now this is called iSkin and basically what this is, is just a huge repository of a ton of different themes and stuff. So what we can do is we can scroll down to over here where it says browse, browse by themes. So we can go and click here. Now once we do that, it'll go ahead and take us to this website. Now what we want to do is scroll down and right here are the themes that they have. Now you can go ahead and pick whichever one you want. So in this case, I'll go ahead and use this one, the dark theme iOS 14. But you can go through each one of these, the Big Sur ones, which looks really good. Actually, we use Big Sur because this one looks pretty cool. So in this case, let's say we find a theme that we like. We want to go ahead and click on it. And once we do, it'll take us to this website. Now you want to make sure you're doing all this in Safari and not in Chrome or anything because it's not going to work. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and scroll down. You can go and look at everything too, but we want to go ahead and click on application icons. So you want to go and click here and make sure all the icons look good and everything. And what we want to do is select each individual icon that we want. So you can choose all of them if you want to. In this case, we'll go ahead and I guess click through all of them, most of them at least. And what this is, is basically just going to make separate apps of these things, and it's just going to install a profile. So instead of us clicking on each individual app and series shortcuts and setting it up, we can now just do it this way and then just not have to deal with it anymore. So now I have a couple of them selected. Once you have that done, you want to go ahead and scroll down into generate theme, which is right here. So you want to go ahead and click on here. And once you do that, it'll go ahead and take you into this little web page. Now what you want to do, and this is very, very important, you want to go ahead and click allow, which is right there, and it'll tell you that the profile was downloaded. So what you want to do, and what this means is basically on settings, we need to modify some things. So we want to go ahead and go into settings, which is right here. You want to scroll down into general. You want to scroll down again into profiles and device management, which is right here. So go and click there. And right up top, you'll see the name of that theme that we just kind of modified and downloaded. So you want to go ahead and click on it. And then you'll come here and you'll see at the top right an install button. So you want to go ahead and click on it. A little thing at the bottom will come up. You just want to click install. And in two seconds, it'll go ahead and install this. And it's already installed. So what we can do is hop out. And you'll see that those icons are now here. So here are, I think, all those icons that we just selected. And as you can see, they work. I mean, I can go and click on Safari and it'll go ahead and open in Safari. I can go and click phone and it'll open up in phone. I don't know what the heck that just happened. And then so on and so forth. However, as you just saw, the caveat is still kind of the same. It's just much easier to kind of set up. But as you saw, the icons do kind of take you into a splash page temporarily and then direct you into that app. So if I go and open up like Facebook, it'll open this up, then it'll open up Facebook. So that's another thing. I'm sure not a lot of you guys are super excited about that, but I don't think it's a crazy big deal. Again, if you want to turn this off, you can do reduce motion as you know many others have demonstrated, but I think this probably is okay for a majority of people too. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.